In this interaction, you're gonna see me pull three girls with my assistant, where initially we approach two girls, and then while we're waiting for the third friend to come in, we're just dealing with problem after problem after problem, and then even more problems the entire way home. And this is really gonna help you because a lot of interactions have problems that need solutions, and you're gonna see how I went about solving them, and you could apply it to your own interaction. So the interaction begins when my assistant sees these girls talking with these guys, and he suggests that we go try to steal them. He says, let's save them. And the girl that we want to open all of a sudden hears this and playfully challenges him and says, what are you going to do? What the fuck are you going to do for me? What do I do? I own the frame and I say, what do you mean? We're tens. We can do whatever the fuck we want. And we just own it in a playful way and she loves it and the set opens. So pay close attention to what happens over the next few minutes. Let's save them. <laughs> We're going to invite you to party. Where are you talking about it? Yeah. What do you mean? We're tense. We can, do, we can do fucking anything. That's a nice v-neck. I love it. <laughs> it's a deep v. I love the red v-neck deep... more. Thank you. She's tan tall. Is she okay? She's yeah. good. She's, yeah. Done. Yeah. She's done. She's good. She's beautiful. What's your name? You're beautiful. I like your choker. Thank you. I have two chokers. I love how two of us are talking. Are you into two guys at the same time? Well, That's DP. Great. I love that. Yeah? So there are two things that are happening right now. For one, I realize that the friend is really, really drunk, which is going to be problematic in certain ways. For one, it might make it hard to structure the pull or to build attraction to begin with because instead of me having her attention, she's giving it to her friend to make sure she doesn't fall and whatever else. I also know that if this friend is really, really drunk, she might have to go home and my girl might have to take her there and that could shut down the entire interaction in and of itself. The second thing is I'm realizing that my wing, my assistant, is talking to my girl a lot. Why? Because he's trying to help me out since there's really not a whole lot he could do with the friend. She's drunk so he definitely can't talk to her and he's definitely not going to hook up with her. She's definitely nowhere near co coherent enough for anything to happen sexually. So what does he do? He just talks to my girl and he tries to help build a fun interaction and give me that social proof. But the good, that's the good part. The bad part is it's giving me some competition and now it comes off kind of social. So to compensate for that, what I had to do was be more sexual. Even if it was a little bit forced, as you might be able to tell, I'm still going for it. I still need to do whatever it is that uh, will demonstrate that I'm the one that's into her, even if it fucks it up a little bit because I'll just calibrate it afterward. So it's okay, so that's why I'm going in for like makeouts, asking her if she's a good kisser, that's why I'm asking her if she's into a DP and whatever else. So realize your wing is always there to help you and that's what he's supposed to do, but just because he's there doesn't mean you should never be demonstrating your interest in her. You should, if anything, use the fact that he's there to demonstrate more interest. Use the fact that, okay, well, he'll be the social one, I'll be the sexual one, and just by you know comparison and juxtaposition, you will look really good and it'll be very obvious what you're trying to do. And because your friend's there and looking good, you'll come off even more normal. Are you guys from around here? We live in that building, actually. <laughs> yeah, we, we have a long. You down? Do you work in, that, in like Boston? I do. I live, I live in Manhattan. You live in Manhattan? Where in Manhattan? Chelsea. Okay, I lived on this summer. Okay. I worked on She's done. Are you down for a DP? No. What? DP. Was Two guys at the same time? Yeah, I'd love that. You down? Yeah, totally. I know it sounds sarcastic, but She's I've saying it sarcastically, She's like, it. but I'm really kind of... No, I worked in Manhattan this summer, though. I loved it. Really? I was in Manhattan most of the summer. Are you a good kisser? Yeah, totally. Yeah. She's I'm so like, sorry. I like her personality. She's sarcastic. I'm, in. In, but she's I'm in. like... Let's find out. Let's find out. No, no, no. That's I he wants know, to know. Like, if you're, if like, you're a gonna kiss, stranger. No, no. I'm a hot stranger. He's a Jewish model. Oh my god, I love that. I'm a hot stranger. That. You guys got a mod, you can leave. Are you just like visiting Boston for the weekend? Until Monday morning. Anyway. Notice how the physicality is a little bit weird right now. We're about a minute and a half in and I've already tried twice to escalate on her where the first time I actually go in for a kiss and now I'm trying to take her hand and both times weird things happen. The first with the kiss she pulled away with the hand, who the hell knows what she was trying to do. 
but all I know is it wasn't exactly her complying. So what do I do? I just chill out. I'm just kind of like still in my own space, still very calm, and I see everything as information. So I don't see a rejection as much as I see, okay, she's just not ready, or oh, she wasn't totally cool with that. It's just information. That's it, and now it allows me to know how to proceed. And I want you to learn to see it the same way and never to see things as a rejection, but rather, okay, I'm moving it forward. Is she comfortable? She's not comfortable, what if I try this? Okay, she's not freaking out totally, so what if she's not cool with me taking her hand? What about her putting me putting her arms on my shoulders? Is she cool with that? And you're just gonna keep changing it around while keeping in mind the difference between token resistance and real resistance, okay? And keep in mind, I never stepped in her space, not even once. I never went into her space. If anything, I brought her into my space and just allowed her to pull away if she wanted to, okay? That's gonna allow you to keep flirting with her and escalating with her without ever making her feel like you're invading in her personal bubble, okay? So keep that in mind. That is gonna allow you to keep escalating and if you realize in a moment, I'm actually about to give her a compliment on her boobs and then I'm gonna go in for a motorboat. And the way I know I could do that is just because when I'm trying different things, as I just mentioned, she's not freaking out. I take her hand, even though she's like being a little bit weird about it, she's not outright saying get off of me or anything like that. So I just assume, all right, let's try something else. Let's see if there's anything else that I could do that she'd become comfortable with. I notice her boobs and I say, wow, you have really nice boobs. And what happens then? I, she's like, no, I don't, as you'll see. No, I don't. She basically props them up for me to see them. So I just go, okay, she's totally ready for this. And I go in for the motorboat. Oh my God. Where are you from? I think gonna I'm from Boston. No, I don't. They're so small. No, they're this right. shirt just like, like shows awesome them off. Like... <laughs> he's got a little motorboat action. I love this. <laughs> but so I've been working because like my boobs are so far apart. Like he's totally yeah, they lying. They look good. Oh my they're small as fuck. Really You're such a liar. How you, get, no. you guys have an Uber coming? Eventually. At this point, I just realized, okay, she's standing outside the bar. Why is she standing here? What is the purpose? And I'm assuming it's for an Uber or she's waiting for a friend because she's not smoking a cigarette or doing the things that people normally do outside of a bar. She's clearly trying to leave. That's what I'm thinking. So I check, right? I don't want to be scrambling at the last second as she's trying to jump in the Uber and I'm trying to get her number so I could set up plans or, or lose the opportunity altogether to get her number because she was in a rush. So I find out, are you waiting for an Uber? Once I find out she's not, I realize, okay, I don't have to get her number and start setting up plans for later. Let's try to pull her right now. That's when I start setting up the entire pull and I say, hey, you should come to our rooftop. And when she asks where, I just point. Why'd I point? Well, for one, I always advocate using as much visual proof as possible, especially when the girl's asking for it. So if you say, hey, I wanna show you my nice view, and then she says, well, where is it? You say, oh, it's over here, and by the way, it's a really nice view, look, here's a picture. That's going to allow her to see, oh my God, he's not kidding, he's actually the real deal, he's showing me some, he wants to show me something cool, it's cool in picture, let's see what it's like in person. You guys wanna to come to our rooftop? Over there? Yeah, over there, yeah. We'll take some shots and then get You're still inside, right? I mean, we have... Yeah. I'm not just... even asking you. You're so fucking drunk. She's like... <laughs> yeah, no. Why yeah. even ask her a question? I uh, totally... Are you guys, like, best friends? Yep. Yeah. We're yeah, just cool. Yeah, like, five years. Anyway, I went to Northeastern. <laughs> Northeastern? My dad went there. So smart. <laughs> yep. When did you graduate? Last May. Do you know... So it's good now. It's a huge, huge school, you know? Yeah, I feel that. Thank God we got rid of those fucking We saved clowns. you, what did I say? <laughs> um, you're like, we're all brothers, yo, I'm like, I'm like, yo, you guys got A-mark, you can leave. So I'm like, we're literally all yeah. four feet tall, get the fuck out of my face. Awesome, so we blew out those guys who were originally speaking to them, which really goes to show that you should never be intimidated by the fact that other guys are in, in the interaction and talking to the girls that you want to speak to, okay? They have, you have no reason to believe that they like them and you have no reason to believe that they know the guy, so just go up and find out. That's what we did, we went up and found out, we blew them out and now we took their girls from them. And also, if you realize, our girl just made fun of those guys for their height, even though they're the same height as us, which really goes to show it has nothing to do with the height, even though she made fun of them, it has everything to do with the vibe. Also, realize that we're using game terminology just to lighten the mood and have fun. My, my wing and I, my assistant and I, I really like to use some fun terminology with him as he'll do the same with me. So he says to the guys that we just took their girls, 
you guys got AMOG'd, you could leave. And it's just fun for us to use the terminology. And if you think about it, when a girl, if she ever asked, we would just explain it to her what it means, that's okay. And the girl will just see you as an expert. Oh my God, he knows pickup terminology or whatever. She won't, not pickup terminology, but she'll think, oh my God, these guys are an expert, right? These guys are experts because they have terminology for things. So I, I use even other examples just so you know. I might, I might say to the girl, oh, are you gonna give me LMR? And it's just funny for me, but whenever the girl asks what's LMR, I just explain it and I just say, yeah, it stands for last minute resistance. It's basically when a girl is down to hook up and at the last second she freaks out and she's like, I'm not that kind of girl. And a lot of girls will appreciate that. And like, oh, no way, there's a term for that or that's a normal thing, that's a common thing. You know how to deal with that? That's really funny and they'll like it. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, wow. Did you stand up straight? Wow. I hope you drank a lot, because when, when I'm like that, I drink a shit. Oh, time. yeah, I know. I drink like 15 shots. She's just no, like... Yeah. All right, give me a hug. That's right, girl. Oh, this is typical. Hugs are nice. Yeah. Guys, come take shots. Well, Maybe not this her, is typical. I don't know if she can get inside. No, no, we're going to go to the rooftop. Absolutely. Home. Okay, we got to get... Once again, I try to escalate by putting her arms on my shoulders but she isn't fully complying. And it could be because she was just distracted or she's not fully interested in yet. Either way, I drop it, I'm gonna try again later on. But no matter what happened, she still agreed to come back with us after we reseated, right? So we seated the pole or at least introduced the idea before. She wasn't totally jumping at the idea. So a few minutes later after we built the vibe more, we went for it again and realized we're only three minutes in before she finally says yes, but as you'll see, we spend the next 10 minutes just waiting for the friend to come up and in the meantime, so many obstacles get in the way and that's why I always advocate, move quickly, okay? The longer you take the pull, the less likely it is that it's gonna happen because any number of things could happen. Guys could come and cock block, the friend could get too drunk, the she could get too tired, all of a sudden she wants to go home because she's annoyed. Whatever it is, move quickly. Text her. Yeah, text her, tell her to come out. No, absolutely. <laughs> that was the best motorboat of my life, by the way. What? That was the best motorboat of my life, by the way. I literally have no tits, so like that's oh really God. surprising. <laughs> that was fun. I love. You guys look awesome together. Let's just fully mastery. <laughs> okay. How do you know? How are you? You look great. So as you see, I just tried to escalate again, and because we're waiting around, what happens? A landmine goes off. Guy comes in, tries to steal my girl, and he succeeds. He quickly, swiftly comes in and takes her away like a total boss, by the way, and I'll congratulate him on that. He looks really good with her. He's confident, he's comfortable with the physicality, she's receptive to it, clearly, and now I'm thinking, what the hell just happened? How she know this guy? Does she even know him? What's the deal? So the first thing I think to do is, okay, I need to find out how she knows him because I'm about to knock this guy out of this interaction and I need to know how to proceed because whether the, the way she knows him is gonna determine how I go into the interaction and go about taking her back. So I asked the drunk friend, which is my first go-to right now, do you know this guy? She says, I definitely do know him. And even though she sounds drunk, I think, okay, this is enough for me to go off of for now. I'm gonna allow them a moment because they know each other to interact and then I'm gonna blow him out before he has a chance to really solidify anything. And just so you know, if she didn't know him, I'd go in way, way quicker and I would think, okay, blow this fucking dude out. And I would start small. I would start just by trying to take her and see if she would walk away. He doesn't, she doesn't walk away. Okay, I'd go in and really dominate the interaction, speak louder than him, speak more than him and really just control the interaction so much so that he just stands there awkwardly and decides to leave. Realize, look, this is a really good opportunity to demonstrate who the real alpha male is, and that's where I come in and say, look, this is my territory, get the fuck out of here. I take her hand, say, can I borrow this, and I pull her away. From do you guys, do you know these guys? Uh, oh, yeah, I, I definitely do know them. Give her back. I'll give her a minute. We're about to go party in the rooftop. No, oh, okay. Have you seen it? Did you turn and look? Behind you. Yeah, definitely. I try my best. I make her. I like your nails. She's a photographer. If you need a new photographer, I'm good. Hey, brothers. 
That second, guys, to second, make out second guys, we stole you, bro. Hey, bro. He tried to hook up with my older sister once, and it's like, now he's trying to hit on me. Like, you can't hit on my older sister and then try and hook up with me. Weird. I would hook up with both of you guys, honestly. If she looks like you. My older sister's pretty hot, but like. Just like your way of like making Would you ever? Would you, like, I, don't do that. would you ever hook up with a guy at the same time? Yeah. Is my older sister? No. Maybe if you were. Yeah. That's like every guy's dream for some reason. That would never happen. <laughs> That's crazy. Guys, uh, just, just tell her to meet us. Yeah, text her the address. What, well, what's, what's your deal? Like, is she uh, with I was friends? We're three units. She's with us, but like. She just inside. Is she with the boy? Like, I will get you her address. I feel you. That's, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. I know, that's a rough situation. Yeah, you're actually a fucking good friend. So. You are. I've Maybe actually gone to take shots and enjoy the rooftop with you. You okay. guys. I'm the homie. Give me a second. Yeah, yeah. She could, just so you know, there's like really nice benches and stuff, and we're all gonna be in the same rooftop, so. Okay. You it's could, a public you space. Yeah, you could, there's like. There's plenty of space to like chill out. And, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Well, in second. One thing, at, one thing at a time. We're working. Notice how many compliments I'm giving the girl and the type of compliments I'm giving her as well as the context that I'm giving her behind the compliment. So it's very different to say, wow, you're very cool compared to, wow, you're very cool. I love how you're so chill about this whole interaction where, where your, your friend is trash and you're just so calm. That is a way more legitimate compliment. It's very, way easier to take that for gospel, right? For to realize, oh my God, he actually is complimenting me and she's taking them all very well. Also realize the questions we're asking. So we're trying to find out what's the deal with the friend. We ask, is she with a guy? We're trying to figure out, is she with anyone who might cock block? That's all we care about. Is she with a guy who we need to know about? Because this way we get to handle it before they even get there and instead of dealing with it at the last second. So right now we find out, is she with a guy? The answer is probably not, even though there's still a chance. But we don't want to find out at when we're waiting this whole time that all of a sudden this guy comes in our girl likes uh, our girl's friend likes this guy this guy doesn't want to come with us for whatever reason our girl's friend all of a sudden wants to stay with him our girl won't leave with him uh, without her friend big mess right so we're just trying to figure out this stuff ahead of time and realize how we're using the time we're waiting to further cement the vibe and further make her comfortable about coming with us so what am i doing i'm describing to her the location that we're going to so that she knows ahead of time oh, okay so there's a lot of space here we're going to a fun place there's a good view it's comfortable there's good couches all that stuff is helpful compared to just leaving it at, we're going to my apartment. She has no idea. That could be a, a place with used condoms everywhere. She has no idea. And so I'm just using that time to allow her to understand and become comfortable with where I'm taking her. And as you'll see later on, I even make it make more sense for her by telling her, oh yeah, the, there's comfortable couches so she, your friend could just sit down as we all chill out and look at the nice view. So she even further understands the benefit of coming with us Wow, I really get to sit down now and my friend's gonna be comfortable. Win, 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 win. It's like her college room. So we're not leaving her. Jesus, how old are you? How old are you? Anything to get back to the interaction. You they want to get so back in the interaction for 21 year old. Yeah, they gotta take care of her. I'm, a, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of impressed. <laughs> Tell you guys, she's cool. I'm kind of impressed. Don't you have to take care of each other every once in a while? Come on. We do every night. Which one takes care of each other? <laughs> we take care of each other, yeah. Which one takes care of who? Depends, depends on the night, depends on who's filming, you know. Do you like shoes? I like shoes. Depends on the night, depends on who's filming. Who's filming? What are you filming? Taking care of each other. Are you doing? Stop running away from me. No, I was just... Okay, guys, I have a good idea. Grab my hand. Yeah, grab my hand. Grab her. I'm gonna grab this. We're gonna we're gonna move. We're not leaving. We're not leaving. We're just moving. Fantastic. So the guys come back in those little ball dudes, and they're trying to interfere with the interaction. They're trying to find a way back in. Now my girl and I noticed this, and we're instantly thinking, "What the hell? These guys just are not getting it." So what do I think? Instantly 
get these girls away, okay? We tried blowing them out, we tried shooing them off, but they, they went away, but they came back, now it's time for us to leave. And when I move them, for one, I move them in the, the direction of my home rather than a random direction, and that's important to realize. You always wanna move them in the direction of your home rather than move in the opposite direction. So to give you an example, if you're in the bar, do not lead her upstairs when you're trying to pull her to the exit, which is downstairs, let's just say. You always wanna lead her to the downstairs or closer to the exit every time you move her, okay? Also, what I want you to realize is I talk about this in the sections about leading girls home and handling the cock blocks that come in and eliminating anyone who wants to come in your interaction that isn't helping. When there's a creepy guy, it could be a creepy guy, it could be a homeless guy asking for money, whatever it is, it could be one of those street performers, they come up and they try to sing for you, we have that a lot in New York, and they wanna get all of a sudden a dollar. Blow them out of the interaction as soon as possible. That They will come in and they will creep out the girl and instantly she'll either think this all of a sudden became a creepy situation, even though your conversation with her might have been good, She's labeling this whole thing as a creepy situation and now she's gonna leave and blow you out. The other uh, thing that tends to happen is even if she doesn't see you as a creep, she sees you as a guy that does not know how to handle creepy situations, AKA you're low value, AKA you're not a dominant figure that knows how to handle creepy situations and that could protect her and that will creep her out and think, okay, loser, and she's gonna leave. He's moving away from the Oh, wait, 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 she said hello. Awesome, perfect. Cool, text her, right grab her, wait. grab her so she's okay. Oh, let's move away from these guys. Wait, she said hello. You get to, we're not, we're just moving away from these dudes. Yeah. What's my name, Good move, good move. <laughs> We're not fucking stupid. These guys were like fucking Pretty vultures. Sure we the yeah, these guys are fucking corner. like vultures. Notice all the responsibility that I'm taking right now. I'm telling everyone what to do and I'm orchestrating this entire pull. I'm saying, you take her hand, you take my hand. What are you doing? I said, take her hand, take her hand. And I'm leading this whole thing. I'm mentally seeing what needs to happen in order for this to smoothly go down. And then all I'm doing is directing and I'm creating that picture. But in reality, I'm saying, you take her hand. I know we all need to walk hand in hand so we don't lose each other, so the drunk friend doesn't fall, so that everyone is led in the direction I'm leading them. Perfect, okay? That's what a leader does. And you need to mentally link the idea of you taking responsibility with you learning more, you getting the result more, and you getting laid more. If you don't do that, if you start looking for other people to assume to know what to do, you are really not putting yourself in a situation where you're gonna likely win a lot, okay? So look at the situation, how it needs to happen, you make it happen, and as you saw, she says, Good move. They work at the West Ender too. Oh my god. Do they? I think so, at least two of them. So they like finished up work or something? Huh? That was nice though. <laughs> that was crazy. Where's She's coming out. Dying? Apparently. So, okay, is she like. Yeah. Done too? Yeah, I am. Yeah. So we're. Wow. How are you so patient? I cannot. It's, it's, I it's, cannot. Why, it's why I got it. I don't know. You a nurse? You should be. No, I'm a graphic <laughs> designer. Really? Nice. That's pretty dope. <laughs> How do you know each other from school? We know each other from like high school, middle school. I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna fucking lie, I'm actually like surprised at how well you're handling it. If you guys want to go, we can go. <laughs> <laughs> nah, we're all I will literally fucking kill you, I can't believe you said that. <laughs> that's funny. Nah, very so funny. That was literally the lamest thing you've ever said. Is Claire said. blonde or brunette? Brunette. I can't wait to tell you that you said that tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you're fine. That's cool. You guys, do you drink or smoke? Yeah, both. Are you DD? Awesome. What? Are you DD? I mean, no, we're gonna Uber home at the end of the night. I'm just and like... And somehow they got plastered and you didn't jump on board. Yeah. You're responsible. That's cool. I'm like, I'm so drunk. I'm just like, no wow. Do you live in Boston? We live in Okay. I live in New York. No, uh, yeah, we talked about this. I was going to say, I was kind of far. Oh, shit. Sorry. Where in New York do you live? And at Chelsea. Chelsea, that's like, what street? I lived on all summer. Okay. 
Because yeah. I worked on Park Ave, like right near. That's Grand where Central. the lipstick building is, right? Like the Chester building. The lipstick building. What's that? You know, that's the building that Bernie Madoff was in. Like, you know what I'm talking about? The lipstick building. I have no idea what it that looks is. looks like a lipstick. You you're trying to hold my hand? I don't know. I'll help you stand up. I live near like the Chesler building, like the Empire State building. Okay. Empire State, that's no. I was on Park. That's like 34th and 7th. Yeah, I was working on Park to have like right near Grand Central. Uh, no, that's still not 50s. Yeah. Oh, we're such we're no. good friends now. My shoulder slash chest is a pillow. Yeah, yeah I was just so you know, just, Central, just so you know, yeah, just I'm based good. off this, I would totally, if you live in my neighbor, I'd be like, okay, I want to go out on it, like grab. I'm not in New York City anymore, though. I know. I'm just saying, like Coming that. From Chris Parker. Just from like a five minute conversation, that means a lot. Yeah. I'm out of the city. Hopefully, post grad, I'll be there. Once again, notice how much I'm qualifying her and how much I'm telling her how I'm impressed with her, how I'm impressed with how responsible she is, and how I would date her if she lived close by. And when she, when I originally say I would date you if you lived close by, she thinks, okay, that's a cool compliment, whatever. But then the moment I gave her that context and I say, no, for real, I met you five minutes ago, that means a lot. And I gave her a little bit of context about that. Now she starts telling me about how she might be coming back to New York. And now she accepts the compliment better. So learn to give those real compliments. Don't give them if they're fake. Be well-intentioned, be honest, and let her feel from the place that it's coming from. I'm moving to Asia in a few months, so. That's awesome. I know. Honestly, get the fuck out of America. We're fucked up. I just want to do something different for a little while, you know? Honestly, we have Nazis running the streets. Alright, so nice to be here. I will fucking kill you. I'm not a Nazi. <laughs> finally, it's been eight minutes since my girl agreed to come with us before the friend finally showed up. And if you think about it, my girl said in minute three that she was down to come with us. And now, almost three times that time that it took to get her to feel comfortable, now we're finally leaving. And look at all the problems that came in the interaction and really made our jobs a little bit harder, right? So think about that. It takes way more time and way more effort in the pull to solve any problems in the way than it actually takes to bring the girl home or at least get her compliant enough to leave with you. I also realize that our work is nowhere near done at this point. We still need to get the friend on board to come with us. We need to explain to her all the details, make sure she's on board and she's comfortable with it. And then we got to actually get them home. And especially when we have a drunk friend, that is going to be a bit of a challenge. Yeah, fuck those bitches. So look. Wait, are we going back in? We're not, right? We, I don't know. I don't think she can get back in. We're oh, avoiding the Nazis, Where? right? We were all gonna go drink and chill, smoke weed, and water. Oh my god, that sounds so ideal. <laughs> yeah, it'd be fun. It is pretty cool. Okay, we just gotta get her there. So, okay. we gotta, so like, group her. Not... Okay, I'll tell him again later. Uh, okay. We go in. Grab, grab her arm. arm. You guys gotta make sure she gets there. Yeah, yeah she's coming. Yeah. Grab her arm. She grabbed my arm. She's grabbed so her. Well, what do you know? Ten minutes ago, this girl wouldn't even let me touch her that much. And now look at us. And it just goes to show, learn to trust that over time, this girl is going to grow comfortable with you. And if she's still there, she's into it, okay? Also, at, I want to point out again, look how much control I'm taking and I'm about to take about pulling her home and letting everyone know what their part is in this as I even fully ex explain to them, okay, we're only going a few minutes away. All we have to do is manage that. I'm setting the expectation and telling everyone the responsibility and leaving nothing to chance, leaving nothing for anyone to think on their own and make the wrong assumption and screw up the entire interaction. I'm directing everything. Learn to do the same. And she drink a lot? No, she like I, I can drink a lot and I've never, I haven't been like that probably. I literally, I literally try my hardest. Yeah. Honestly, I'm fucking, I'm really like. Like I'm drunk and I'm so shy. I'm not gonna lie, like maybe it's because your friends are so wasted that I'm like super impressed by you right now. Thank you. I, I'm like, what the fuck? Like I'm drunk, I'm trying oh, my best. Sorry, hold her arms so she doesn't fall. Watch out for that. Jesus fuck. Okay, it's like a two minute walk, so we just we just gotta manage that. Oh shit. Nice meeting you, brother. <laughs> we actually almost didn't say hi to you. Hold your arm here. If you want, I could, 
I don't know if you're okay. I can hold her arm too. Yeah, you know, we almost didn't say hi to you. Why? I'm like, this girl's super pretty, but we're like, okay, I guess that one of those guys are a partner. We're like, fuck it, you never know. So rude. Oh, I'm happy we did. Shit. Here, let's, let's cross, and we're going to cross over here. Jesus. You said you smoke weed? Yeah. Nice. That's my favorite thing to do at like the yeah. end of a weekend night. Yeah. I was. You guys okay with her? Yeah. You need help? I was at okay. Let's cross. Last oh, you know what? We'll cross the crosswalk because we, yeah. we have a different. Not be illegal citizens. Yeah. Uh, in New York, we, I'm sure you know, like we don't, everything's the crosswalk. Don't worry, we're fine. We have, we have security at our building anyway, so. So she notices the short bald dudes following us again. And so what do I do? I explain to her, don't worry, you're safe. And I say, we have security in the building. Don't worry, they're not gonna be able to get in. I make it clear, you're in our care, okay? And that's something I even say very often to girls. Don't worry, you're in my care now, we're all right. And it just lets her know, you're gonna be safe with me. If, if they like. I will literally oh, fucking kill <laughs> Wait, guys, guys, hold on. Okay, oh shit, grab her arm. <laughs> I fucking hate you right now. You're really the biggest pain in my dick. <laughs> well, that could be a very big surprise from you. <laughs> like a massive schlong comes out. I'm like, whoa. Here, let me, let me, let, oh. Oh my God. Let me, let me help, let me help. Jesus Christ. Come on. <laughs> Damn. Holy fuck. Oh shit. Yo, her shoe. Yo, she lost her shoe. We got it. We got her though. She's she'll be okay. And there's, I, I hope she does. Put it back on. <laughs> it, no, broke. Well it broke. Um, it broke. Oh shit. Bro are we at your place? Like close? Where, where you see though, where those pillars are? Hold on. No, 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 no we got you. Don't, don't worry. We got you. We got you. No, hold on. I want. I'm, I'm oh my. <laughs> <laughs> she she needs her friend though. She, she trusts you. She what know me. a disaster. The drunk friend that was already making our life a little bit harder now fell down, which is exactly what I did not want to happen, why I kept telling everyone, hold her, make sure you got her. I did not want her to fall, and then all of a sudden my girl says, okay, we're gonna go home, right? That's a landmine I was trying to avoid. And what happens? She breaks her shoe, and now my girl's getting really pissed. And I'm just expecting this whole thing to blow up, but I'm still trying to do whatever I can to make sure everything works. So I walk the friend over to the side, and now I make my girl come in, and, and so she's helping too. So she doesn't. So the girl that I'm helping doesn't assume. Oh my God, there's a stranger helping me. Where are my friends? I make her, sure she gets involved, and she's helping her friend. And then I realize her shoe is broken in a way that actually, if we had tape, it probably could have helped. And what do I realize? Oh yeah, the camera guy has tape. Why? Because I I taped the microphone to my body, so now he has tape in the bag, and I just realized, okay, if this is gonna happen, I probably need to just go get it, and I just swiftly go off. I don't make a big deal out of it, so no one notices, and I go and I take the tape out, and I say, what do you know? Oh my God, I totally forgot. I brought tape out. I don't think it's going back on. We, we have, yeah, it's it's broken. Uh, Let go of it. It's not broken, you just It might be easier if you took off the other one, honestly, and the streets are clean here. No. I don't, it's broken. It's we not have, broken, it just slipped off your but we, But we have, um... Oh, we it is broken. Yeah. I, random, I randomly brought out tape, by the way, so it might help. I'm doing it, I'm, I'm doing it. Okay, here. You drunk fucking bitch. Let's, we could tape her shit It's though. okay, no, it's done, it's over. It's, it's over. canceled. <laughs> All right, it's they're canceled. done, they are done. So you... It's canceled. We got you. Though. We got you. Really nice mom figure, but like. Is it with? Is is she with uh, an A L Y? Don't escalate, bro. Don't escalate. I mean. It's canceled, bitches. Wait, is she A L Y? What? Is she A L Y? My sister's. Kidding. That would have been like. How do you spell your name? Sister's. Okay.
Once again, notice how awesome the vibe is and we all look very comfortable with one another and you need to adopt the same type of mentality where you're trying to make everyone comfortable with one another and a lot of it just purely is the fact that I've been leading it the whole way and that every time something went wrong, I was the one there to fix it and now they trust me that everything is gonna be okay. They trust everything's gonna be fine. Yo, um, <laughs> maybe help her <laughs> help yeah, her out too. I love you. <laughs> or she's like, oh, you abandoned me. Oh my Didn't god. What a night. Oh, oh. <laughs> what a it's night. cool. Yeah, she'll be she'll Barbara? be okay. Like it's. Yeah, I know she'll be wow, okay. Wow, she's a soccer she's player. Like, yeah. Around me. Back in high school. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, I was no, I mean like there's there's benches and stuff. Like four years ago. She'll be she'll be out, ooh, and couches and whatever. Whoa. No, you don't. You're like five feet tall. Jesus Christ. I actually could, but I'm not going to. Do it. Just in the sense, just in the do case it, of my balls. Do it, do it, do it, do it. What if I pierce my balls? That's not a good thing. Hit your balls. Like hit a fucking, balls. you're going to get a Prince Albert. Oh, shit. Wait, why did we throw the out? Oh. You all kicked out the first bar. That's what I thought. Yeah. What the fuck? I don't know. I thought huh? Mike? Huh? They were like, oh, you're puking in the bathroom. Were you puking in the bathroom? No, I literally. You guys are. More than 21, I've just been waiting for my friend. They were like, no, you were. Yo, help her out so I can fucking <laughs> work this one. My friend. Hey, are you okay? Let me help you. She's okay? cool. She's upset that I. No, she's cool. She's cool. She's. she's just, she just really just needs help, like walking. I can't. Hey, oh, hold on. We're, we're gonna be. We're, we're literally walking in. Okay. Um, do you wanna smoke? To cut a cigarette before you yeah, continue walking. Yeah, what's good? I feel like yeah, they're just cool. they're just like having their own. They, yeah, I don't they're know, shy. Their own ones. Yeah, kind of shy friends. Just shy friends. Look how much we actually have to handle in this interaction. First, I had to steal the girls from the initial guys they were speaking to. Then a guy came in, this tall buff guy that's even bigger than me, that a lot of people might have been intimidated by, especially with the size difference. I steal her back. All of a sudden, the bald guys come back to. And a th two and three more times, right? So they come back in. I have to deal with that. Now while we're walking home, the drunk friend trips and breaks her shoe. And on top of that, even before that, we're waiting this whole time for the friend to come out of the venue and come with us. We have problem after problem after problem. And we finally make it to the entrance. And what happens? She notices the camera guy, right? The friend sits down. She won't move. Problem. Camera guy gets noticed. Oh my God. So I just own it. I realize, look, the way to handle most problems is to own it, accept it, crush the problem. And I say, yep, yeah, yeah, he's, he's just shy. And we even add to that, we say he has a girlfriend. He's just trying to be a good boyfriend and be loyal to her. That's all. And then we just vibe a little bit more and then we walk into the apartment. Now realize, again, you're not gonna have nearly as many problems as what we had in this interaction. Most of your problems, you're maybe gonna have one or two problems we actually had a collection, like, I don't know, eight problems or something. These are what I call landmines. You want to preempt them, anticipate them ahead of time and try to solve them as best as you can and realize, again, while we had eight or something, big ones, you might have one or two. So just learn, realize this is a difficult one. You're going to have a way easier time with the vast majority of your polls. And again, don't rely on anyone else to solve them. You're going to assess the situation, think, what could go wrong here? Try to scan, it's try to figure out, okay, what I think might happen, will it happen? Ask the questions you need to, to make sure you find out the information that you need to know, and then you're gonna proceed only when you find out that everything's in the clear, okay? Once again, to give you an example, if that was vague for you, if you find out that you're waiting for the friend, find out how she knows the friend, find out if anyone's coming with the friend, you might wanna find out, is she also really drunk? If you have reason to believe that's true, be the leader, and also, pay close attention to the fact of how the interaction started, right? Where we're going in and stealing the girls from these guys. She's not even ready for my physicality yet. And what do I do? I just stay in. I'm not overwhelmed by the problems. I just handle them. And I trust this girl's gonna like me over time. And that's exactly what happened. It's kind of why like we vibe pretty well together. A lot of our friends are kind of shy. What are their names? <laughs> that's funny. Uh,
And um, hey, before you smoke that, do you want to just mix it with weed name? and we'll roll a split? Yeah, we'll she roll. asked if you guys were our friends. I'm like, yeah, you guys are just like doing your own thing. Don't okay. don't get super close. This kid's not Yeah. He seems to know more than you. <laughs> <laughs> Sir. That's crazy. <laughs> I have a girlfriend, so like I'm just. Yeah, what? He's, he's like trying I'm to stay on his best behavior. I like definitely so, didn't uh, ask. Yeah. Like, I, that's I, sick because I'm like single. Like, great to rub it in. I wish <laughs> I had a fucking boyfriend. <laughs> but like, no, that <laughs> could <laughs> no, no, literally good for you. I love, I love you. I, love yeah, you. Yeah, I wish I wasn't single. No, I know my. You me the fuck up. No, I'm kidding. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It really. No, he actually has a really. No, it really is good for you. Have you been in a relationship? I mean, it's I mean yeah, he cheated on me. I've had two girls cheat on me. It sucks. But yeah, it was terrible. I'm but never dating anyone again. And then it's better for you. You guys ready to never. walk? Well, we're gonna we're gonna go up to the fucking roof. I'm gonna be so a senior. It's gonna be Who way the fuck nicer. Am I gonna date freshman? Than out here. Although this is nice. I just wasn't sure. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. We're good. We're not like bringing you to the fucking oh street. Like well, that's random I mean, as fuck. I was just shut down after I stood up. What from her? Yeah, we're good. Oh, okay. Hi. Chad. Well, I'd actually rather hold your hand because that seems kind of nice. We're gonna go chill at the Avalon. Other one. Avalon. <laughs> so you live in Boston? Uh, I come and visit Isaac all You're the time. You're from Manhattan. But I live in Manhattan. Yeah, I got Do you that. remember You're where? In the West Village. Chelsea. Right? Chelsea. Close. Same thing, kind of. Very close. Honestly, yeah. like I'm kind of confused by all that shit. Like I know it, but Manhattan was like. Such a mind fuck to me. I didn't get lost that much though. In Manhattan? Yeah, but like this summer was it my, be, it's my, so my first easy. time like being there. No, it was easy. Like it's because it's all numbers. Yeah. So if you know how to count, you, most people are okay. But I actually had a friend visit me from Italy, and she was so confused, and she's like, No, I. She's like, I wish. Like, she's like, I wish everything was names because I'd remember easier, which is to me more difficult. No. Like. When I go out, yeah. I understood it. Like I had a friend who lived on like. Good, Indian good third. guidance. Isaac, on, like, Isaac's ten out of ten in guidance. I was like. Yeah. Oh my god, some dumb bitch keeps texting me. Yeah. Oh my god. I still owe you a drink. Oh, oh, oh. Watch her, watch her, watch her. So there you have it. That was one of my favorite interactions to show people because there were so many lessons in it. There was how to steal girls from guys. There was how to steal girls back from guys who stole her from you. How to deal with that. How to deal with cock blocks. How to deal with searching and finding and handling landmines. That was a great example over there. There were so many landmines making sure that the friend wasn't too drunk, making sure she wasn't dealing with another guy who was with her, handling the fact that she wasn't even coming for about 10 minutes and then bringing her home. Now the friend fell. There were just so many problems as, I've, as you've seen, as I mentioned. And so I really hope you learned from it. It wasn't just one problem over and over again. It was a lot of different problems. So now you get to see how, they, how to handle them, how to identify them, how to see them coming ahead of time, and so on. So I really hope you enjoyed it. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot. Do, it again. Like, do you think I'm just going to show my ass for you whenever? Wait, double step stories. <laughs> ready? Go for it. We're ready. Will you see the nipples? Nope. Yeah, do it. Yeah, your shoes. <laughs>